grand risings, guys. All right, so I've been doing a lot of research on astrology, and it is a plethora of information. If you guys want to learn more about yourself, if you're doing shadow work or just healing, learn more about yourself, I suggest you get your natal chart and learn more about just your sun placements in your horoscope. There's your moon sign, your Libra sign. I mean, your, your rising sign, that's my <laughs> ascendant sign, but definitely do the research. So a lot of times I'd be on here talking about retrogrades and the Mercury retrograde. I had no idea there were other retrogrades, which makes a lot of sense. So with the Mercury retrograde, what it does is it bring X's back. There's a lot of um, technology issues. You're not, not supposed to sign contracts during that time, et cetera, et cetera do your research. But today we're going to talk about the Venus retrograde. I've never did knew anything about it, but now that I'm learning about it, I definitely wanted to share with you guys some good information that I'm learning. So with Venus, it is all about love. It's about challenging love. It's about bringing in new love. So there's going to be a lot of twin flame unions. It's going to be a lot of soulmate unions. There's going to be divorces. It's going to be relationships, challenges, especially these karmic relationships or people that are still in karmic cycles. Like uh, karma is going to be retributed. Like it's about to go down when it comes to love. Okay. So if you're in a relationship, you know, you're not supposed to be in, it's going to be tested. So be on the lookout. If your significant other get to tripping or acting crazy, just know this retrograde is coming in to do some work. Okay. It starts January or July 22nd to September 3rd. That's a long period. But what I wanted to do was kind of in force and uh, let you guys remind you guys how much it's important to remember what real love is so i was actually reading this book from nicole coleman it's called the wisdom of the P I'm, you know i gotta be careful on tiktok but look her up on tiktok she is an amazing mentor she does all type of stuff so look her up and in this book uh she was talking about love and she was saying how love is freedom Love makes you feel free inside. It's like someone comes in and unlocks you from silent misery. There is a lot of people in relationship right now that feel like a caged bird. They can't do this. They can't be themselves. They can't express themselves. And you have to, when you're in love, it's about feeling awesome. It's about being, learning and loving and meeting new people and just being yourself. It's clearly about being happy. Not just for you, but for the other people that's around you. So just be mindful of that when your exes come back and people want to start fresh. Be cautious. 